How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today we're going to be taking a look at what the spring cleaning event for 2018 for Steam is all about. So I've been completing everything that I possibly could. Day one is over with at the moment for this event, but it still has three more days to go including this day that I'm currently recording this on. So most likely you're going to see this event pop up when you visit store.steampowered.com. Uh, you will most likely see a banner. If you click on it, you'll be taken to this page right here. It says dust off that library of games and uncover something new during the spring steam cleaning event. And what this event kind of focuses on is actually playing games that you haven't played in a while or giving games a chance that you have previously bought but never installed. So this is all fine and good and I've completed all of the projects at this point and I've completed the first three daily tasks and if you do this it allows you to level up your steam cleaning event 2018 badge. Now what is kind of special about these badges for people who really don't care about them or maybe don't understand them is that they are a limited time thing so if you want to feature it on your profile or whatnot you'll only have this one opportunity to fully earn it. And part of my intent behind making this video is to help you understand what you need to do to complete all of the available tasks here to make sure you level up that spring cleaning event badge. So as you can see on this screen right here, I've completed half of my available tasks. Six of them are what are considered projects, and there are one-time tasks that you need to complete, and then the other 12 are what are considered to be daily tasks. These are three tasks that are going to be popping up once every day for a total of four days, and you can complete them. So uh, if we take a look at the daily task, I needed to play a game that was on that was uh, free to play this weekend. So in my case, they had selected for me City Skylines and Dead by Daylight. I chose City Skylines, and I'm going to get into that in just a bit. How you can actually get the rewards for these games without needing to install them. And there was a good reason for that, not just trying to cheese the entire thing, not going against the spirit of the event, because some of us just do not have the options that other people have. Uh, then there was also Spin Cycle, which was where they chose some random games from my Steam library and gave me the option to play it. And then there was Clear the Backlog, uh, which they selected a game that I owned, but I had never played. For me to play. For those of you who are not compelled to complete your tasks simply for an upgraded badge, there are also some items that have dropped. So most of these are emoticons. As you can see right here is a key that I got, hourglass, dustpan, feather duster, and a wallpaper. And we also have this mystery item. Now there have been reports that some people have received multiple of these either emoticons or these mystery items. Basically, there have been some errors in the system on Valve's end, and it resulted in some people who use Steam getting multiples of these, but it has since been corrected, and if you see anybody with multiple mystery boxes, mystery items, emoticons, or whatever, they managed to score some stuff while that glitch was active, but it's most certainly not supposed to be that way. Okay, so now you understand sort of what is at stake here, what exactly it is that the Steam Spring Cleaning event consists of. It's, we've got these items here and then we've got the badge uh, and you want to complete the badge leveled up to level three. It's like the coolest badge and you want to do that by completing these daily tasks in addition to completing all six projects. I completed all six projects and now I just have to come back every day for the next uh, three days basically for me to complete all these tasks. This is the important part that I want to get into because it involves how do you manage to play these games. So it's been a while since Valve has created an event which required you to actually play games to participate in it. This is okay for most people, but as games get bigger and bigger, you're going to see this problem where some people are being excluded because they don't have the capacity on their network to download and play these games. It's really not a fault of their own most of the time. Uh, it's simply geographical restrictions. Uh, some people... <laughs> If you, if you read this post right here, some people are using satellite internet services. They like to play games too, and they have Steam, they have games on Steam and whatnot, but they can't participate in this event because they can't afford to download games that have potentially tens of gigabytes worth of data when they're only allowed 40 gigabytes of data a month. If this applies to you, there is a solution to this where you don't have to download the game. This is what I've done because I've mentioned this in the past sometimes. I use a cellular connection. It is a plan that you cannot legally purchase and I've bought it through eBay. And this plan theoretically gives me unlimited uh, LTE for usage on my computer, which normally you can never get. You're allowed to take there are unlimited plans for cellular devices like tablets and phones, but you can't get that on a computer usually. So what I have here is pretty special. I want to complete this event. 
I don't want to risk my data plan by downloading games that are tens of gigabytes many times to make sure that I can get it all. So what I'm going to be using here is this program called the Steam Achievement Manager. Now it's a little bit shady, I will grant you that. There are warnings about it as you can see here in this Reddit post. There are warnings about using it while playing any game that has anti-cheat protection in place uh, because you can get VAC banned from that game. But I have successfully used it to complete the tasks for the games that I haven't installed. So if we take a look back here, there are some games that I didn't install. I didn't install Left 4 Dead 2, that's about 8 gigabytes. Then from the Clear the Backlog and Speed Clean, I think. There were a couple, oh yeah, there was also City Skylines, which I didn't play. That was for the free weekend. So I think those are the two games that I did it for. And, you know, that saved me collectively 16 gigabytes of data being downloaded. And for people who do not have truly unlimited connections, this is something that you can use instead. Now. I'm not going to go into too much of what it entails to get it. As you can see right here in Windows Explorer, I have downloaded the file. And basically what you do, make sure no VAC enabled games are running in the background. You double click on it and it will bring up this screen here. You also need to have your Steam client running and logged in for this to work. But what you can do here is uh, pick, pick any of these games from this list here. It's in all in alphabetical order. Or you can add a game by its store number. You just... Uh, paste that store number in there, click add game, and it will pop it up. Once that game pops up, just select it and double click on it, and it will start running that game in the background. Five seconds after you do that, you can shut it back down again, and everything is fine. So it's nothing too intimidating. You don't need to know how to use a command line or anything. If you're on Windows, you can certainly do this. Now, one thing I will say is that like with any program that's kind of dodgy, make sure you get the right version of it. I'm not going to tell you which version is the right one per se. I got the one from the Gibd GitHub. I, I don't like telling you to click on links for programs that are dodgy that could change in the future especially. What I would recommend is that you go ahead and Google the Steam Achievement Manager to make sure you get the right one. Most likely the one you find at the top of the search results, providing it's not a promoted link, will be the right one. But one of the ways you could double check on that is just search a site like Reddit to make sure you're getting the Steam Achievement Manager that most people are uh, agree with, right? So if you find some threads on Reddit that mention the Steam Achievement Manager, and they all link back to the same project, you have a fairly good idea that that's the legit one and not somebody who just started up another GitHub and forked it from the legit project and like added surreptitious stuff to it. So this is how I managed to do it. And I hope this helps other people complete the spring cleaning event who aren't able to download this much data because there are three more days left for me where I might have to download new games. And that's just something that it's not what I want to risk my connection doing. It's going to be a lot of data a lot of the time for games that I really probably will only play this one time, right? So multiple tens of gigabytes of data you're going to be saving here by doing this. For those who are too lazy to go out and get the Steam Achievement, uh, manager thing. I'm I'm going to include a link to the GitHub that I did research and found to be the legit one. Do your due diligence. Make sure you research into programs that you download from GitHub projects and stuff to make sure that they are community tested because there, there's no real certification in this area. Uh, it's really a very gray area and, and people can infect your computer and stuff, especially now with cryptocurrency miners and whatnot. If you can legitimately download and play all these games to complete the badge, I highly encourage you to do that. But if that's simply off the table for you, go ahead and do this. Um, get your Steam badge because uh, you deserve it as much as anybody else does. I seriously do believe that the digital divide is a real thing and uh, the more tools that great people out there put out like the Steam Achievement Manager. Uh, these people are real heroes to us and are helping make commonplace events more accessible. So good luck completing the Steam Spring Cleaning event for 2018. Thank you very much for watching as always, and I hope to see you next time.